Hello Python programmers. So this is the video 12th of a machine learning with Python video series and in this video we are gonna discuss about simple linear regression. So till now we have covered about data preprocessing and the theory of the approach for machine learning. Now we are coming to our first machine learning model which is simple linear regression. So this video is divided into two parts. First is the theoretical part where we'll see every aspect of simple linear regression, all the theory part. And in second, we'll use a real data set and create and train our linear regression model. Okay. So first of all, let's come off to the theory part. Okay, so now first let's see that what is a simple linear regression. Now this is the most simplest form of regression that is present and usually the mentors take this as the first uh, model and this is what I'm also doing. So in this model the relationship between the dependent variable and the and independent variable is assumed to be linear in nature. Now let me explain you what I mean here. There you can see in the graph let's say that the one axis let's say the y axis is your independent variable and the x axis is your dependent variable so with the increase in your dependent variable the y or the independent variable is also increasing so there you can see that the data is following a linear pattern so we can draw a line through this and say that the future value which is somewhat here will also follow the same pattern because the previous data is following a linear pattern. So uh, when there is only one independent variable and one dependent variable, then it is called simple linear regression. In the previous video, we have discussed about this, but I just want to give a quick summary of what simple linear regression is. So let's come off to the formula of what simple uh, of simple linear regression so you must have seen this formula in school right this is the formula for the slope of a line y is equal to mx plus c where where c is replaced by b naught and and mx is replaced by b1 and x1 so here b1 is the constant now constant is the value which is present when your independent variable is zero. Let me try to show you through this graph only. If the, if the independent variable is zero somewhere here, then there you can see we are getting a value in the graph here. So this is what our constant value or the starting value of our graph is. And this is what b naught is you can simply use maths also here if x1 is 0 then b1 into x1 becomes 0 and all we get is b naught so y becomes b naught and the graph starts from here so b naught is the constant or the starting value of the graph b1 is the coefficient which we'll talk later in the video because this is the factor which which will affect our line okay now x1 is the independent variable we have already discussed about what is what are independent and dependent variables so x1 is independent variable and y is dependent variable so now let's discuss about our coefficient or the slope now if the coefficient is more that is uh, it is a more slopey line the angle between the slope and the y-axis is less then then there you can see if the slope is more per unit output change is also more now let me try to explain you with this graph only if the line is making less angle with your y-axis then with per unit change of your uh, dependent variable we are getting more output so the per unit output is greater if your slope is more and this is the exact 
opposite when the slope is less because if the slope is le less and is somewhat creating a straight line then we can very easily understand that the per unit change in our output is less okay okay so now let's move to our next slide and let's see that how we can actually draw this line this line which we have drawn uh, on this data points what is the concept behind this line so the concept behind this line is best fitting line and what we are using here is the sum of the least square let's say that uh, this is the point let's consider this point this red spot here so let's say that y is uh, the location of this point actually somewhere here and y bar is the value which is predicted by our model let's say somewhere here so what we do is we take the actual output we'll subtract that by the output output predicted by our model square them and then we'll take out the uh, this value for all the points and try to find the line which is having this value minimum because that will be the line which is perfectly fitting this pattern here okay so I don't think there is much to explain in this and this was just to make you familiar with uh, the concept behind this uh, linear regression you do not need to apply any of this mathematical formula or anything when it comes to programming because our linear regression model is doing everything i have created this ppt just to explain you that what is the concept behind this linear regression so just a quick summary linear regression is simply applied to those data set when the data is following a linear pattern and we are having one independent value value and one dependent value then this is the formula which we can use for this linear regression and the concept behind the create the creation of this line is best fitting line which takes the least square of all the points and then find the minimum value among all the possible uh, lines existing okay so now the theoretical part is done let's get to our jupyter notebook and start off with the programming part now this part will be very easy and uh, if you are not able to understand this formula then do not worry because this won't affect your programming at all because you don't need to do anything in programming okay so okay so our first step will be first to import our required library so first let me import the libraries now let's load our data set let's create a variable data set and data set and i have downloaded the data set from this website and we are using the data set of gray kangaroo with the x value as the nasal length and y as the nasal width with these data being in linear pattern now i know this is not a very impressive data set but it's good to practice so let's get back to our notebook Okay, so now let's see how our data set is looking. Data set dot head. Okay, so perfect. Now let's create our x and y variable so that they can store our independent and dependent variables. Now I'm not gonna explain you these 
ilock commands because i have already discussed this into dedicated videos for pandas and numpy you can find the link in the description okay so now let's see how our x and y variable is looking so okay okay now let's plot a graph to see that whether the data set is following a linear pattern or not I'll simply draw a line graph okay so there you can see that our data set is following a linear pattern so let's split our data set into train and uh, train and test Now, if you are not familiar with how to split your data set into test and train, I have created dedicated video for that. You will find the link in the description. Now, let's call our linear regression library, which will do all the work for us. So let's do that. Now make sure that you are writing this L capital and this I capital because Python is case sensitive. Now let's create the class variable for regression. Let's say regressor. regressor. Now let's train our model. So what we'll simply do is we'll call this uh, function variable and then provide our train data first is the x train and then the y train we are providing the independent and dependent variable to this class variable so that it can learn that what is the pattern the data set is following and it will create an understanding and just train itself okay so let's run this and linear regression is not defined and actually we need to fit it so it will be regressor dot fit so there we go our model has been trained so let's do prediction now let's use the independent test data which is stored in our x test so uh, let's create a variable let's say y uh, prid and then we'll simply write regressor which is this class variable and then we'll use predict and then we'll simply provide our x test uh, variable here now let's see what are the values stored in our y prid and then we'll compare this with our x uh, sorry y test data to see that how good our model has learned so this is the value that our y uh, that our linear regression model has predicted so let's see y test let's run this and this is the actual value uh, which is pretty much good because there you can see 221, 252 a huge margin 220, 224 not that huge 220, 219 very close 210, 204 still 241 okay so I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna compare each value here you can do that task so this is it for this video we have learned that what is the theoretical aspect of linear regression what is the best fitting line uh, 
what are the factors affecting this line and then we have seen practically that how our linear regression model is actually working okay so this is it for this video and in the next video we'll discuss about multiple linear regression so meet you there bye bye